Hello students, hello everyone. Welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is metrics and determinants. If you are in senior college, you are preparing for WAYEC, for NECO, for GCE, for NAPTEC, for JAMB, or any other external exams into high school, this topic, this lesson is for you. You are in the right place, Peter Kors Education Community. Lesson 5, General Metrics Multiplication Continues. So, this lesson 5 is continuation of lesson 4. That is the meaning. Before the lesson proper for updates, Follow Peter Kors Educom via YouTube at Peter Kors Simplified Maths. To do that, subscribe to this channel, hit on that button, like the video, share the video to your friends, your colleagues, your classmates. Follow us on Facebook via fb.me slash peterkoseducom instagram peterkosec telegram t.me slash peterkoseducom whatsapp through this mobile telephone number in all of these platforms you get updated from time to time about what is happening at peterkos educated community where you have access to quality unlimited and simplified mathematics teachings in series in series okay alternatively the method of multiplication taught in lesson four can be summarized as follows so in this alternative method you don't multiply it step by step you just do everything in one place although you are doing the same thing but in a more condensed and compact form. A compact form, all right? Example 13 show that the product of A, B, and C is equal to A and product of B, C, given the following matrices. This is associative property of matrices multiplication we want to show that the property is true is true so you have matrix a matrix b and matrix c remember the condition for multiplying two matrices the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix before you can multiply all right so let's take what we want to show you take it part by part so we take the first part where we have to find the product of a b first then that product times c so a b means matrix a times matrix b now check it out number of columns in matrix a equal to number of rows in matrix b before you can multiply okay now you can see that this is the alternative or the condensed form i was referring to in the introduction as usual you start with the row see that the first row multiply first column element by element remember we said the sum of product so you have one times one minus three times four the same first row multiply second column element by element so you have one times two minus three times minus three the same first row multiply second column third column third column element by element you have one times one minus three times one this is very easy if i this is the one i use most times most times 
then you move to the second row to get the second row in your answer but the second row of a is going to multiply the three columns of b at different times so you have second row times second column times first column times first column entry by entry you have two times one minus one times forever sum of product you multiply and you add before the next one the same second row times third times second column second row times second column you have two times two minus one times minus three corresponding element to corresponding element the same second row times third column you have two times one minus one times one very simple so you multiply so you have one times one is one plus minus three times twelve is minus three times four is minus twelve then times plus there is minus twelve in the second entry you have two plus nine minus three times minus three is plus nine the third entry one minus three one times one is one plus times minus is minus this is what i'm referring to now plus times minus is minus the two three times one is three you move to the second row first entry where you have two times one two plus times minus plus times minus is minus one times four is four the second entry you have two times two four then you have a uh, four plus minus one times minus three is plus three what do you have there and the third entry you have two times one that is two then minus plus times minus is minus one times one is one so in the first entry one minus twelve is minus eleven two plus nine eleven one minus three is minus two then the second row the first entry two minus four minus two four plus three is seven two minus one is one so we have obtained the product of a and b then we use that product to multiply c for us to get this part so we continue with the solution okay so we are looking for a b now times c this is a b from the previous step multiplied by matrix c you must also check that the number of columns in the first matrix equal to number of rows in the second matrix and uh, they are equal it therefore means that multiplication is defined for a b and c okay all right so you have to listen attentively to the voice of peter Kors. now that we are satisfied with the condition for multiplication then we carry on or carry out the multiplication itself where you always start with the row of the first matrix times the first column of the second matrix are you seeing my illustration okay so in that if you check now the first row has three elements and the first column of c also has three elements Remember we said that corresponding element to corresponding element so you have minus 11 times 1 11 times 3 minus 2 times 4 after multiply you add to the next one the same first row times second 
column corresponding elements you have minus 11 times minus 2 11 times 0 minus 2 times 2 to go to the second row of the solution where you use the second row of a b to multiply the first column of c the second row has three elements the first column has three elements element to element you have minus two times one that is what i'm saying now minus two here times this one in that order followed by seven times three followed by one times four the same second row times second column of matrix c you have minus 2 times minus 2 7 times 0 1 times 2 then you multiply before you add so minus back to the first row now minus 11 times 1 you have minus 11 11 times 3 33 plus times minus is minus 2 times 4 is 8. Second entry there. Minus times minus is plus. 11 times 2 is 22. Seven times, 11 times 0 is 0. Plus times minus is minus. 2 times 2 is 4. This is where we are now. You move to the second row first entry. You know everything here now is the first entry when you add them together okay second row first entry minus two times one minus two seven times three twenty one one times four is four second entry now this is what i'm referring to minus two times minus two plus four 7 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, then you add the first entry, minus 11 plus 33 is 22, minus 8, you have 14. So the second entry, 22 plus 0 minus 4, you also have 18. The first one is 14 minus 11 plus 33 minus 8 is 14. Second one, 22 plus 0 minus 4 is 18. The second row, first entry, minus 2 plus 21 is plus 19 plus 4 you have 23 and the second one is 4 plus 0 plus 2 that is 6 so we know a b times c so let's take let's take uh, a then b times b c so from the rule of both mass you have to get b c first so b c is matrix b times c you have to check number of columns in the first matrix b equal to number of rows in the second matrix c so if you carry out the same steps i just did now you have these results these results all right that is the first row times first column will give you this entry first row times the second column will give you this entry second row times first column will give you minus one then second row times third column will give you minus six you can work that out in your note now that we know bc 
you multiply a by bc this is matrix a this is matrix bc matrix bc you check number of columns here equal to number of rows in this place that means you can multiply so you have the first row times the first column that is 1 times 11 is 11 minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3 11 plus 3 is 14 see that the first row times second column gives 18 the third row the second row sorry second row times first column here you have 23 the same second row times second column you have six now check out check this result and this result they are the same that shows that matrix multiplication follows associative property associative property okay example 14 if p is equal to this matrix and q equal to this matrix find matrix 4 p q before you can get 4 p q you know for this like scalar multiplication and general multiplication together so you have to start by taking the product of p and q first they are two by two matrix that means number of columns and row in matrix a and b are equal so if you take the other first row times second first row times first column you get everything in this place element by element the same first row times second column you get everything here element by element you multiply and add if you use the second row to multiply the first column you have one times one plus two times two if you use the same second row to multiply the second element second column element by element you have one times three plus two times one when you multiply first you have two plus six then six plus three followed by one plus four followed by three plus two and you have eight nine first row second row five five now that you know pq you go ahead and look for four pq how you multiply four you multiply pq the matrix by four that is scalar multiplication in that lesson lesson three i told us that you multiply each element by the scalar or constant outside so you have eight times four thirty two nine times four thirty six 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 4 again, 20. So sometimes it is possible to have scalar multiplication and of a matrix in one problem. In one problem. Scalar multiplication and general multiplication of matrices. Okay? We have uh, example 15. Find PQ for which, find PQ for which this matrix multiplied by this matrix is equal to this matrix. If you check the left hand side, the two matrices, one is two by two, okay? This one is two by two, while this one is. This one is 2 by 1. That is 2 rows and 1 
colon so you have two by two and two by one that shows that the number of columns in the first matrix equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for this reason multiplication is divide where you have the first row times the only column so you have 2p times 1 plus 8 times 2 second row times the only column where you have 3 times 1 plus minus 5q times 2 equal to the right hand side when you multiply you have 2p plus 16 okay you know you, you cannot add a letter to a number so you have 2p plus 16 as the first element 3 times 1 is 3 plus times minus is minus 5q times 2 you have 10q equal to the right hand side at this point we have to invoke equality of methods where we have it that the entry in the first place of the first matrix equal to the entry in the second place of the uh, the entry in the first place in the right hand side that is 2p plus 16 is equal to 24 the first entry equal to first entry the second entry equal to second entry you have 3 minus 10q equal to minus 17 so you have equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 you can look for p since what you have here is linear equation but not simultaneous equation because the, 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 the two are not variable they appear differently in the two equations so from here you have to get a 2p first that means you transfer plus 16 to the right hand side it becomes minus 16 that means you have 2p equal to 24 minus 16 you've transferred plus 16 is now minus 16 when you subtract the right hand side you have 2p equal to 8 to get p divide both side by 2 divide both side by 2 and not 4 if you do that p is equal to 4 from equation 2 you get q so this is equation 2 this is very simple okay let's make coefficient of q to be positive that means if you transfer minus 10q to the right hand side it becomes positive as you are doing that you transfer minus 17 to the left hand side to meet 3 it also becomes positive in this form when you add you have 20 equal to 10q to get q divide both side by 10 and q is equal to 2 equal to 2 all right so this is how you can multiply matrices and also solve equation with it in a very compact and easy form so here you must take note of the signs so when you are multiplying because the signs can be confusing especially negative sign you don't ignore negative signs but you can ignore positive if it is coming first maybe something like plus two times minus two you can add it as two times minus two now you see that all right end of lesson five thanks for watching and learning with peter course education community don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter course watch out for for more from the voice of peter course the voice you are hearing is the voice of peter course for questions and inquiries use the comment section for the complete package of this topic 
lesson 1 to lesson 11 for offline usage you can contact the voice of peter course via this whatsapp number or through the email address at a very little token you get the complete package delivered to you lastly if you are not safe your life will be in crisis to avoid that you give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and you confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already i tell you big congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble stay well study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and the lord will bless you goodbye for now